Hey guys, welcome to another episode of I need to get on a better sleeping schedule because my life is falling apart. 5, 12 a.m. and no, I'm not just waking up and starting my day, enjoying the morning air and the breeze in the morning and whatever morning people do. I have not slept yet, so that's always good. Three cheers for wasting my life. I just, I don't sleep anymore. And when I do sleep, it's like 2 p.m. and I sleep until like 10 p.m. And my sleeping schedule is so messed up. It's so messed up. It's so messed up. So in this video, we are going to be feeding every single one of my animals. And I know what you're thinking. I feel like you've done this video before. It's because I have. Just once though. Just once. This has been a highly requested video ever since I uploaded the first one. A lot has changed since that video, so we're redoing, we're redoing the feeding video. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do a long opening because then people are going to click away and be like, this girl is going to talk forever. So enjoy my animals eating food. Okay, so we'll start with my fish. This is all of my fish food. You'll eat in a second, okay? Stop staring at me. So we have for my fish all of this crap. Like really, I don't know if this is all necessary, but um, that's my sis. Honestly, no clue what that is, so, um, yeah, uh, bye. This looks like squid. Here is more lionfish food, because I guess I thought I was out, so I bought another one. These are like 20 bucks a piece, and I bought two for some reason. I don't know why. I just like wasting my money, you know? This is all of the frozen food, and now I also have prepared food, but I don't really use it that much. But anyway, today we're gonna be feeding all the animals. So for my saltwater fish, today we're gonna do emerald entree, and then some of this for my lionfish. This is hard to do with one hand, I need to get my GoPro out. Da -da -da. And then we wait for this to defrost, and this to defrost. For this tank right here, this is just my, uh, it's a nano predator tank. Fish like my cheese cube right here, my cowfish. He is going to go into my 150 gallon, and so are my clownfish, and my kamahara, but my little dwarf fuzzy lion, and my blue toby puffer are staying in this tank. This is their tank. Cheese is my best friend. He hasn't been in my videos too much yet, but I've had him since November, and I'm obsessed with him because he looks like cheese. Cheese really likes nori or seaweed, so when he sees it, he goes a little nuts. He gets really excited over the, um, over the seaweed. He really, I mean right now my puffer is the one that's wanting it, Jesus. I'm gonna stop teasing the animals and actually feed them now, so that'll be good. So first thing I'm gonna feed is the emerald entree. I'm gonna do little bits right now. Next I'm gonna go ahead and feed Zazu to get him away from all the other fish that are trying to eat. I normally use tongs for this, but I can't find any, so I'm just using a fork. But food goes in. Oh, I'm sorry, cheese. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's very messy whenever I feed this stuff. It gets in the water everywhere. He already ate it. Get it. Cheese? No. <laughs> not for you, cheese. Let go. No, cheese. And then I'm going to feed my blue toby puffer. Now again, this is another very, very, um, it pollutes the water, so I do not feed this often, because it's disgusting. But my blue toby likes it. I guess my Kamahara Blenny likes it too, huh? Zazu's thinking about eating my hand off, but that's cool. Everyone's always asking me how I'm not scared of my lionfish, but really, He's a scaredy cat. See, he's more scared of me. We have this like neutral understanding, like I'll feed you and take care of you and you don't touch me. Basically our understanding. And lastly, I feed cheese, even though cheese already ate Zazu's food. I'm still gonna feed cheese. That's not cool. <laughs> this, is why, this is why my cowfish can't stay with my lionfish. Cheese is gonna get himself killed one day, I swear. Calm down, cheese. Seriously, you don't need to eat the lionfish. It's really, it's really cheese's food. As you can see, cheese really, really enjoys it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try one more time to feed you, but if someone eats your food, I can't do this again, because it really makes the water disgusting. Really? Oh, he got it. See, look at that, look how disgusting that makes my water. He's trying to chew it, maybe I gave him too big of a piece. You can do it, I believe in you. I believe in you, Zazu. 
Jeez, leave Zazu alone. So next up we have Mushu and she is my axolotl. I named her Mushu because I thought she was a boy, but now she's a girl. I always end up explaining that. People are always like, why did you name Mushu Mushu if Mushu's a girl? So she can already, you know, see <laughs> that it's feeding time. I feed her earthworms. I've fed her earthworms since I first bought her um, when she was about that big. Like she was tiny when I bought her. I've only had her for about a year and a half and she has grown insanely fast. She's about seven months old when she got this big. So she grew so fast and her diet has just been earthworms every single day of her life. Sometimes I cut them up if they're um, if she's not super hungry, but we'll just see what happens. Oh, okay, she was hungry. And that is her meal. <laughs> It's gone just like that. Alright, now moving on to the animals in my room. The first thing I do, although it's not necessarily food, is make sure that my crocodile skinks mister is full of water. Then it's time to feed him. Pretty soon here, before I ever do another one of these what I feed my animal videos, I am going to be getting a second crocodile skink because this one's a male and as you can tell this tank is very large for one very small crocodile skink. So I'm going to go ahead and get a female. I open his foggy little enclosure. And then over here, I grab some crickets, which is a very easy process, just like that. There's some crickets. Shaboom da bang. Shabab da boom. And then, in a few days, I repeat that process. And then I need to clean out his watering dish, which I do every day. Let's see if I can find him, just so I can show you him. There he is. There he is. Hi. Hi. Be free. Some people who don't know much about them always ask if they like to be handled and stuff. The answer is no. They're more of an observe pet even though you don't really see them that much because they burrow all the time. But every once in a while I take them out. It doesn't do any harm just to look at them for a little, for a minute. Next up we have more hedgehogs and more roaches. And then of course fresh water as well because this is what happens to their water. And you don't want to, you don't want to leave that as their only option to drink. Okay, and then every once in a while, not all the time, I like to give my mouse a little bit of chopped carrots. You know, I just put it on top of his food and he comes and gets it. Um, oh, yep, yeah, that was quick. <laughs> his cage has to get cleaned pretty often because he likes to throw all of his food out of his bowl. Go get your carrots, don't try to jump out. Oh, really? Okay, rude. I brought you food and you just, you don't even care. There we go. <laughs> Okay, Okay, and typically I would feed my tarantula, but if anything, I'm actually probably going to take some food out of here because I put, I was trying to put just a few crickets in there the other day and I accidentally, like, my hand slipped and I put a bunch. So there's just a bunch of crickets sitting around in there and they're going to either die or just bug my tarantula. So I need to take them out and I need to clean out her water dish because I like to always leave her with a little bit of shallow water. Um, she's right up here, so right when I open this, she might try to come out. This is Cersei my camera would focus, it doesn't want to. 
As for the crusted geckos, I just clean out their old food and give them some new food. And then every once in a while I toss some crickets in as well. All right, since he is so small, um, I have to cut up the earthworms in order to feed them to him. So I already did that, and now hopefully you can see, because it's gonna be kind of hard to see because of the bad lighting, but I have an earthworm here. Yes, I'm holding it in my bare hands. I'm disgusting. Oh. He missed. <laughs> That's my finger, stop. There you go. See if he can go for another one. So he bit me the other day and it was just kind of annoying. So I'm trying not to have that happen again. So I probably shouldn't be using my hands, but whatever. You missed. Here you go. You're welcome. Do you even have it? Do you even have it? No, you don't. And there's still one piece of earthworm that um, my Pac-Man frog didn't want. So I'm gonna so generously give it to Mushu because Mushu can always have more. Here you go, it's right there. Hey, you see it? You see it? Do you need help? You see it? You see it? <laughs> she can't decide if she wants it. Do you want me to help you? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Maybe she's not impressed because it's cut up. She's like, what is this? I only want entire earthworms, not chopped earthworms. He's not impressed actually. Maybe that was just a bad earthworm. No one wants it. I'm sorry, earthworm. She does like looking at it though. She just doesn't want to eat it. Well, I'm just gonna take it out then. least we have my dog she is just resting on the couch while I feed all my animals I'm not going to feed her in this video because she's already eaten two meals and had too many treats today so she does not need any more food hi what are you thinking hi you're like half asleep half awake okay go back to sleep as boring of a video as that sounds people really wanted to see it also let me let me show you all guys something so my 150 gallon tank is finally in my room and it's it's giant it's it's massive